pensaban que a los hombres se les hacía brujería, lo cual ya mostraría que eran hombres quienes sufrían la enfermedad, mientras que las mujeres tendrían una menor prevalencia de estas características. El acueducto aquí tradicionalmente ha sido con una quebrada que nace en las montañas, que son minas de magnesio. Algunas personas dicen de que es debido al agua, pero yo digo que eso es un brote natural de los tíos de una en la huerta. También decían que podría ser un agente ambiental como una mina de magnesio, de calcio que había en esta zona y que contaminaría el agua. I felt like Ricarte was ground zero for Fragile X. Ricaurte es un pequeño pueblo a orillas del río Cauca, en el norte del valle. Ricaurte es un centro piloto de investigación de médicos y profesores universitarios de distintas partes del mundo y no solamente el epicentro de una novela que fue muy exitosa y que cuando fue llevada a la televisión fue absolutamente ovacionante. Ellos son los protagonistas de una de las novelas más recordadas de la televisión colombiana. Ya vienen, Ay, ya vienen. Troilo y sus augurios incoherentes. Eh, soy novia. El divino. Están presentes en Ricaurte hoy los sabios más grandes del mundo en Fragilidad X. Fragile X syndrome is a genetic disorder. It's caused by an abnormal uh, gene mutation or change in the gene structure on the bottom end of the X chromosome. And it gets its name because on the bottom end of the X chromosome, there's a fragile site. It looks like the bottom end of the chromosome is fragile or falling off. And this is the site of the FMR1 gene, which when mutated, causes Fragile X Syndrome. We're at home in Sacramento at UC Davis and we hear that we have the opportunity to go to a small village where there are many people with Fragile X. It's the most inspirational words we can hear. I mean, the opportunity to reach beyond our own building, the Mind Institute, and meet others from different countries here in Colombia, professionals, nurses, doctors, politicians, who care about people in Ricarte. When we sit at home and we hear that's a possibility, our future, that's the best thing you can hear. We're visiting the people that are living in uh, the town of Ricarte. As we understand that there are many individuals that have uh, intellectual disability and most likely they're affected by fragile acts and there are many adults. We hope that we will be able to meet with the local people there, the community, the mayor, so we can uh, try to help how to deal with some of these individuals. When I was a student of medicine at the University of Valle, in the year 97, con un compañero hicimos una observación simple que había un pueblo, un corregimiento de Bolívar llamado Ricaurte, que era muy conocido por un famoso santo que se llama el Divino Exomo, en el cual observamos muchas personas con retardo mental. Después de esa observación, se la contamos a nuestra profesora en ese momento de genética, que era la doctora Carolina Isaza. Con ella pensamos que una posibilidad sería el síndrome de X frágil y se les hizo una prueba que para ese momento era la más aceptada, que es el cariotipo con déficit de folatos, el cual mostró la fragilidad del cromosoma X para los pacientes que evaluamos. Hay poblaciones que son muy pequeñas y que presentan este tipo de enfermedades. Esta población representa un grupo de gente que tiene una enfermedad de diferentes maneras y una población que es muy homogénea genéticamente. Esta población puede ayudar a los científicos a encontrar genes que modifican la presentación de este síndrome y encontrar tratamientos para el manejo de este síndrome. But actually this gene produces a protein normally that's very, very important for brain development and also aging. And we know now that the mutation in the Fragile X gene is an expansion of CGG repeats, 
along one side of the DNA. So these are the nucleotides in the DNA. So DNA is like a twisted ladder and the rungs on the ladder are the nucleotides. Hay muchas familias aquí que tienen X fragile y autismo y hay muchos tratamientos que pueden ayudar estos familias. Para mí y creo que para para todos mis colegas es una oportunidad única. Espero que no sea la última, pero ha sido única y feliz hasta el momento porque en la búsqueda de referencias de la literatura sobre el problema encontramos de manera muy reiterada los nombres de la doctora Randy Hagerman, de la doctora Flora Tassoni y de muchos de los que hoy sabemos que son los expertos del Instituto Mind y eso hizo que tratáramos de entrar en, en contacto con ellos. En esa búsqueda apareció Sergio Villada, que fue el puente que nos permitió entrar en contacto con ellos. Pero hoy sabemos sin duda que eh, son las personas que más conocen del tema, que están investigando más, que han encontrado la complejidad del, del síndrome del X frágil, porque el, el problema es que quienes tienen la mutación tienen el problema, la mutación completa, pero quienes son portadores de la premutación tienen un espectro amplio de problemas neurológicos, incluido el, el autismo, que es otra de nuestras preocupaciones. Now, normally, individuals in the general population have between five to about 45 CGG repeats at the front end of this gene. But individuals with Fragile X syndrome have between 200 up to maybe 4,000 CGG repeats. And the cell uh, turns off this gene through a process of methylation, silencing the gene so that the gene, the Fragile X gene, does not produce the normal amounts of message and the normal Fragile X protein, FMRP. And the lack of this protein causes intellectual deficits and it also causes autism. Not in all, but in about 60% of individuals with Fragile X syndrome. Because this is on the X chromosome and males only have one X chromosome, whereas females have two X chromosomes, males are more severely affected by Fragile X syndrome when they have a full mutation, meaning more than 200 CGG repeats. El objetivo principal, más que nada, es tratar de lograr encontrar soluciones que puedan ser de utilidad para las familias y para las personas que sufren de esto. Es una población que tenemos entendido tiene una alta concentración de casos tanto de X frágil como de autismo, sobre todo el X frágil y eh, estamos eh, muy interesados de trabajar tanto con las autoridades eh, como con los centros académicos, ¿no? como la Universidad del Valle y algunas otras universidades. So we understand that there are, uh, there are certain communities in Colombia that have a, uh, possibly have a high incidence of Fragile X Syndrome. And so it will be very important to understand that and what, what the cause of that is. But at the same time, it's very important to try and bring help and relief to those families who struggle day by day to help their child. So it's not just about intellectual curiosity or research. It's also about helping families, helping people. Human service, we call that. El conocer sobre Ricaurte y sobre las características de la población me sorprendió de alguna manera por la, el número de personas que pueden estar afectadas con Frágil X. Pero por otro lado, yo provengo de un lugar de España que es chiquito y los pueblos también son de, son de pocos habitantes y ahora mismo no, pero hace como 100 años podrían existir este tipo de problemáticas también. Tuvimos eh, una reunión en cuanto llegamos a Bolívar, también con las autoridades. Y desde luego 
agradecerles por las atenciones y también por la hospitalidad tan calurosa que tuvieron con nosotros. De aquí nos fuimos a Ricaurte. Hicimos una parada para conocer a una tribu de indígenas que se llama Embera Chamí, en rumbo a, a Ricaurte. Nos paramos al lado de la carretera para conocer las familias, con los hijos, y fue un encuentro bien bonito, el encuentro de varias culturas. Like a lot of Americans, most of what I'd heard about Colombia came through the news, uh, cocaine and cartels. I mean, I knew that countries are always way more than what you see in the news. But I have to say that Colombia was, if not the most beautiful and friendly country I've ever been in. I felt like I was surrounded by children and adults with Fragile X syndrome. Mucho gusto a conocerle. When we went to Ricarte, it was really, really what I would say is an eye-opener and changed how I was going to approach the families, how I viewed what they needed from me, and how I could help them in a way that perhaps I had really not prepared myself for. We got there, and it was as we had heard. There were many people just walking around the streets, older men in particular, uh, clearly with Fragile X Syndrome. Um, there did not seem to be a lot of um, opportunities or uh, organized activities for them. Uh, we met individually with the families and heard about uh, how hard life was. It is rewarding for us as uh, scientists that we work so hard to see that aspect coming from you know normal life from normal people that really need your help and uh, it's very rewarding if you are able to do so because at the end of the day you work so hard to make a difference in some people when you actually can do that and make a difference in the life of many uh, people that's all about. Lo que recuerdo es más el impacto generacional. Cuatro generaciones en el mismo techo, bajo el mismo techo, siendo la cuidadora primaria la bisabuela, es decir, esta señora octogenaria que, que cuidaba de sus hijas, que cuidaba de sus nietos y de los hijos de sus nietos. Entonces me pareció increíble porque esa familia luego encontramos que se extendía muchísimo a lo largo de todo el pueblo, de una manera u otra. Y muchas aportadoras uh, acababan teniendo pues hijos o nietos o bisnietos con una mutación total o con una afectación total de, de Frágil X en descendencia mucho más alejada a ellas. Los beneficios son muy escasos. Las familias realmente tienen unas necesidades muy importantes. Necesitamos comida, droga y ropa. Gracias. La geografía probablemente impida que estos niños reciban terapias y, y atención médica. Y nos llamó la atención que las mujeres no las vimos en las calles. Las mujeres están protegidas en sus casas. Las mujeres están protegidas del abuso que, puede, que pueden tener. Que muchas de esas mujeres son abusadas sexualmente y pues tienen hijos con el síndrome. A todos tienen un papá diferente. Pues le pasó muchos casos de la maltrataban, se la abusaban de ella. Entonces por el problema que ella tiene, que ella es un poquito falta de espíritu. Hola. We found that many people were positive in the blood test. We also found that some people were being treated with phenobarbital and maybe didn't do so well. So we found a specific medication that may not be too helpful for those with, particularly with the premutation and seizures. Some of them went downhill. So we are initiating research about why phenobarbital may be deleterious or problematic 
and we also talked to the doctors in Colombia about this, but we want to carry out more research. I'm very glad to be part of this uh, multidisciplinary team that is uh, working in building this uh, collaborative effort and this international collaboration uh, with uh, several countries, including Colombia, um, to try to develop those therapies for many, many people that are affected with fragile X uh, worldwide, so no matter where they're coming from. We wanted to see what we could do. We wanted to engage the community. We realized that there was no way that in the two to three days that we were there, and there were seven of us from the United States plus a number of our Colombian colleagues, we knew that we could not have a profound difference. We thought the best we could do is learn a little bit more and then make plans when we got home to see how we could make a difference. The families had been visited or the town by other scientists previously, so the families were very, very leery of us, particularly as Americans coming in from the outside, and their experience had been last time that the scientists came in from outside. They left, they had made promises, and none of the promises were fulfilled. So every family I met with needed to be reassured that it wasn't a one-time visit, that we weren't used Using them, but that we really were coming back, that we were looking at the whole village, not just diagnosis, but screening, and then also looking at the children, educational situations, looking at the adults, um, seeing what they needed, and then looking at the community to see what supports were there within the community and what supports were available at the medical school in Cali. Algo que para mí fue supremamente enriquecedor fue el habernos juntado eh, con la comunidad completa de Ricarte. Eh, en uno de las dos días de visita en las que estuvimos hubo esta reunión en un lugar comunitario en el que los padres de familia junto con los líderes comunitarios asistieron a esta reunión para platicarles con toda transparencia y claridad la razón por la que estábamos allí. Y a nombre del corregimiento de Ricaute de nuestro municipio, yo les digo, fueron las únicas personas que se interesaron en que esto se hiciera una realidad y que vinieran directamente los especialistas de Ricaute. Muchas gracias. Si hay un pueblo que se pueda parecer más a Macondo, es Ricaurte. Entonces para mí Macondo era inspiración, es esa reunión de, de la vida auténtica de personas rurales que tienen sus pensamientos mágicos, que tienen sus creencias, que tienen su forma de vida instaurada y que padecen y, y sufren una condición genética que ahora quizás se entienda de esa manera, pero que pues quizá durante mucho tiempo ellos pensaban que había algo realmente algo mágico ocurriendo y que eso también les estigmatizó de una manera enorme. Cómo a través de la comprensión de lo que en Ricaurte ocurre, eso puede realmente inspirar proyectos, puede inspirar a otras personas que se acerquen con una curiosidad amable. ¿Cuántos años tiene Sofía? Yo no me acuerdo, mija. Usted es muy bonita. <risa> Yo... ¿Y qué tiene en la billetera? Yo no la mejora. ¿Y quién la llama? La hija. 
¿Usted tiene una hija? Sí, por ahí en Bogotá. Es una oportunidad única de poder estudiar una población a profundidad que nos permita el poder entender esta problemática de una manera que no sea nada más de ayuda para la población de Ricaurte, sino para Colombia y para el mundo. We found that there were many medical students and residents and other healthcare providers from the Universidad del Valle in Cali who came with us to Ricarte and were extremely helpful and now want to follow up and continue the involvement with us to make the lives better for the people in Ricarte. So we are working individually, we are doing training programs with the people who went to Ricarte from the Universidad del Valle. We continue to work with that team of people down there. Afortunadamente, toda la población fue muy receptiva. Hicimos la consejería genética y reproductiva puntual sobre los riesgos de tener hijos con esta enfermedad y con problemas intelectuales, con retardo mental. Y bueno, la población recibió muy bien uh, la información y estamos eh, seguros de que eh, las tasas de frecuencia de personas afectadas por el síndrome de X frágil va a disminuir dramáticamente en Ricaurte hacia el futuro inmediato. delighted that we have begun to establish a relationship with people in Colombia so that we can help train them to provide better services and support for families in Colombia that are affected by neurodevelopmental disorders. The Mind Institute was created by families for families and we really don't want to rely on any borders in terms of our work. We think it's really important to share our expertise and to uh, help families around the world and to learn from families and other providers around the world so that we are more effective here as well. The lab, which associated with the Mayan Institute, received the blood samples uh, from the clinic so we, can, uh, we are able to test for and do the diagnosis for fragile X. They wanted a place where many different specialties in medicine and psychology and biochemistry could all work together. They also wanted families to experience the sense of hope as they walk into the Mind Institute and see the vaulted ceiling, which symbolizes new treatments, new interventions that could alleviate neurodevelopmental disorders, including fragile X, autism, and a variety of other disorders. A commitment was made to Ricarte that we would return, but in the meantime, we have been working closely with the professionals from Columbia. The professionals from the medical school have been visiting us, receiving training, and seeing what we do here at the Mind Institute so that they can go and take those skills and what they've learned back to Ricarte. Well, when they came back from the Mind Institute, they were all very happy and very excited and very optimistic about all the things that could be done in Colombia, not just because they would have an opportunity to help, but because there was a lot of enthusiasm here to do it themselves in Colombia and to set up the diagnosis and treatment uh, of individuals with Fragile X Syndrome and with Fragile X Associated Disorders. So all of them came back with a sense of enthusiasm, not only for the interest interest of, of Colombia in setting up such uh, organization, but for how wonderfully they were treated, how delightful the people were, and how excited they all were to have those interactions. So they looked forward, they anticipated going back because of all the positive interactions that they'd had in the first visit. And that got me very interested as well. We are so happy to be back here in Colombia, now in Bogota, after two years. Then we go to Cali, then to Ricarte and Bolivar, and then luego a Barranquilla, and then to Medellin. We do really great research at the Mind Institute. 
and this helps the patients that we see. But for many years, I have known that Fragile X syndrome and premutation involvement can be very common in other countries. So the goal of the mind is to not only treat the patients we see here, but also write papers and also disseminate what we know to the outside world. En este eh, estudio se logró delinear el conglomerado genético de síndrome de X frágil en Ricaurte, en donde digamos que el, el primer número que nosotros encontramos es que hay 1139 habitantes y de estos 1139 habitantes se logró tomar muestra para hacer la prueba molecular del síndrome de X frágil en los laboratorios del Instituto Main de la Universidad de California en Davis fue de eh, 790 personas y entre estos 790 personas encontramos que había 20 personas con la mutación completa para síndrome de X frágil, 18 hombres y 2 mujeres. Al hacer los cálculos de la prevalencia para hombres, esta estaría elevada más de 200 veces lo que está reportado en la literatura. Según estudios recientes, la mutación completa en la población en general está en 1 de cada 7000 hombres, mientras que en Enrique Orte la tendríamos aproximadamente en uno de cada 30 hombres, lo cual esto pues excede dramáticamente lo que se encuentra en otras partes del mundo. Y para mujeres excede 14 veces lo que está reportado en general, que es uno en 11.000 mujeres en la población general. En Ricaurte nosotros estaríamos teniendo que más o menos una de cada 200 mujeres tendría la mutación completa. Colombia es un beautiful country and I like bringing our expertise to Colombia. The other great thing about what we're learning in Colombia is that we want to take that knowledge and apply it to other countries. There are large parts of the world, in Eastern Europe and South, other parts of South America and in Central America and Asia that have few to no services for people with special needs. So what we're learning in Colombia will benefit people all over the world ultimately. And that's something to keep in mind. And I like helping people in Colombia. We've been to many countries in South America. In many of these countries, there is an established program now for Fragile X. But in Colombia, there's not an established program for Fragile X. And I want that to happen. And so does everybody else on my team. At UC Davis Mind Institute, we are really excited about the Columbia Project at Hope. I'm coordinating that project. We are committed to following up, doing the things that we said we were going to do. We, just, we did realize, we do realize, like I said earlier, that it will probably take a little longer. We need some people to step up and be supportive financially with other, and with other kinds of resources, we know that people will. Because once they learn about the way that Fragile X affects families, it will move them, just like it moves all of us to this day. They will definitely build a Fragile X cleaning in Colombia so that the family will be able to access those services that we talked about. And we will have people from the lab coming in my lab that can be trained, then implemented once they go back to Colombia. Because I won't last forever, and I want my legacy to be everybody in the world knowledgeable about Fragile X and to move forward with better and better treatments. The future for Columbia is an open book. I mean, before the book was closed and now the book has opened, the pages in the first chapter have been completed and now we move into the second chapter which allows the professionals and families of Columbia to now take the reins and the leadership and move Columbia forward. I think people learn better when you come and bring that expertise. And also we want to direct it to the families, particularly for poor families that would never be able to come and see us at the mine. They can't come, it's too difficult that we have to bring it to them. 
and it allows us perhaps to take more of a backstage approach and the Colombians themselves, professionals, families, to take the leadership and we can work together in support and as a team to really help continue the story of Fragile X in Colombia. Many wealthy families can come and see me at the mine, but the poor people cannot. And of course, we love adventure at the mine. I have always loved to travel. And when we come to Colombia, you are all so gracious. So we get very much enjoyment out of the trip. It is lovely, even if you don't have hot water in some places. <laughs> Just like this visit to Colombia was such a moving experience for me. I've been doing this for over 40 years, and I have to say I've never had a more profound experience than I, I had in Colombia. Las conclusiones que van a sacar sobre Fragilidad X pueden terminar o no siendo hechas sobre la base de mis teorías novelísticas pero ya fueron hechas sobre la base de una novela, pues ojalá pudiera uno seguir sirviendo con troilos para que este país y el mundo adelante y sane a tanta gente que sufre ese mal. The final data from our screening for FMR1 expanded at Leon Ricarte included approximately 1,000 individuals that identify 22 males and 11 females with a full mutation. Five males and 20 females carrier of a premutation allele, and five males and 23 females with a grade zone allele. The data indicated the prevalence of FMR1 expanded alleles. Both premutations and full mutations are way higher than those that have been reported in the literature. Indeed, the prevalence that was obtained from a large meta-analysis study, which included several reports all across the world, compared to the prevalence that have been observed in Ricarte, demonstrated that for four mutation alleles, the prevalence in Ricarte is approximately 300 folds higher and about 200 folds higher for females. In addition, the prevalence for premutation alleles is higher, being approximately nine and seven times higher in males and females carry over premutation allele. This study indicate that Ricarte represent a genetic cluster for Fragile X syndrome. Life is all about relationships and it's all about what you can do for people. And we want that to be what everybody in Colombia perceives as important in life. I think they know that. They just don't have the mechanism for it to come out on a regular basis. And if we can teach them anything, we want to teach people that. The more you give, the more you get out of life. <laughs>